Yes. You know, recently we had the opportunity to go to school up at Mona. And when my time come for talk, I didn't really want to address the teachers them rather than the students. Because everybody has said, the pity them, this one, the pity them, that I said, I want to address the students, the teachers. So my question to the teachers was, what was the name of Marcus Garvey organization? To my surprise and shock, all of the teachers them, barring none, went into them iPhone to find out the answer. That me have to shout and I say, no, 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 it's not so we are work it. You mean say not one teacher inside us all know what the Marcus Garvey organization the name? You still we did I say we want Marcus Garvey to be taught in schools. How can you teach Marcus Garvey in school when you do have no teacher to teach it in the school? And them not when call we for go teach it. No. The UNIA is Marcus Garvey Organization, Universal Negro Improvement Association, was started by Marcus Garvey and his first wife, Amy Ashford Garvey. When Marcus Garvey divorced, he had a second wife named Amy Jakes Garvey. So it's true to Amy. Amy Ashwood gave him first wife, which was the one who helped him to start the organization. And the second one, Amy Jakes Garvey, she was the one who put together the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. If you go going to round to Mountain View, you see a road named Jakes Road. All around there so was our family land. Now Marcus Garvey founded the first political party in Jamaica. Now, a whole heap of ones don't know that. Because most of the youth them, or most of the people them who hear talk about Marcus Garvey, say, the only thing them know was that Marcus Garvey born in a St. Anne, and him go to America. But the, 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 the just, just basic thinking, basic knowing about Marcus Garvey, most of them don't know. And to see that Marcus Garvey is the first national hero. And he has done more for black people than any other black man ever walked the face of the earth. Marcus Garvey set up a party named the People's Political Party in Jamaica. And him go to jail to manly help imprison him inside a Spanish town prison. Marcus Garvey also went to America and there him do most of him work in Harlem. Where him started a, a shipping line. His intention was to send people, goods and services, to Africa. But he was sidewinded by a man named Edgar J. Hoover who was the head of the FBI at the time, who was hell-bent on getting rid of Garvey because he recognized that Garvey was having too much power in America as a little Jamaican country boy who left Jamaica and come in America and start to form organization that drew thousands of people. As a matter of fact, when Marcus Garvey talked in a Madison Square Garden, people couldn't hold in there. This little man from Jamaica. So the first time a black man going to enter the Federal Bureau of Investigation, he was placed there by Edgar Hoover to really find something to charge Marcus Garvey for. And what they found was that they claimed that Marcus Garvey was collecting money through the, 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 the post under false pretense. And them set up man in a, the organization that them have, the UNIA, to falsely claim that there was no shipping line and the ship them can't work when it's them sabotage the whole shipping thing. So Marcus Garvey was jailed 
in prison in Atlanta. And then five years after, he was sent back to Jamaica, right at Victoria Pier, where them call Victoria Pier, the boat land, and bring him on here, so.